so we got a new one today um, I have never had this I've never had this happen before that I can remember um, the building that we repoed we picked up here a couple weeks ago they I guess made a payment or either got the building current or paid the building off I'm not sure but we are actually on our way to re-deliver this building but yeah I have I was trying to think back if I've ever had that happen before where I actually re-deliver a, uh, a building that I repoed and I can't think of a time that I ever did that so this is a this is a new one all the stuff is still inside the building and I I called the customer and told him that you know I think it's probably a little bit too wet to get it back up that hill but he seemed uh, they seemed pretty convinced that you know they wanted delivery today so I guess we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes but I don't know we'll see I mean if the building was empty if it was just the building I don't think it'd be a problem but it is very heavy there's a lot of stuff in there anyways we're about 45 minutes out I will see you guys outside the truck we're here Um, where is it going to the same spot or a different so, spot? There's a bush right there. Like, okay. Like a tree. Yeah. I want it sitting on this side of it. This way, if we can. Okay. Um, if Oop. it's too steep, then we'll set it set it this way. So you want uh, that be with the doors facing? Doors facing this way. Okay. Yeah. yeah it, right up that little alley right there. There's that, that tree right there on the back side of the lot. Okay. Put it on this side of it, right right even with the doors facing that way. Okay. I'll get it off the road here. If I got any questions on the placement, I'll come yeah, come no get problem. you. He means right in this area somewhere. And I hope this works. so what I'm doing here is basically just a reverse of what I did when I picked the building up 
which is um, backing the trailer up to the bank. That bank is a lot steeper than what it looks, so I knew the mule was not going to pull it up over that bank, not with all the weight inside, and the ground conditions are pretty wet, so that's what I'm doing, and just use the truck to push the building up to the bank and use the mule to take it from there. Bracing me, they're holding the holding the trailer in place, and I put the truck in reverse and pull the tongue in. Now we're moving. Have a neat little trick. If I can get it up past that bank with the trailer, then the mule should able to get it. We'll see.
Well, shoot. So you're probably wondering why the mule flipped over right there. And basically all that happened was the left wheel went down into a little dip. And I had the forks up too high, so couldn't get those down in time. And it just basically started tipping over. It was too late. By the time I realized what was happening, it was too far gone. I couldn't hold the thing. And could have probably been avoided if I had drove forward instead of driving out of there backwards. I would have probably seen that dip. So yeah, I have flipped this thing, I think, four times now in the last six years. So it does happen, just doesn't happen too often. Can't get my jack out. That's freaking great. Freaking great. Are we heading in the right direction? Is it going up there? Going right there. Like kind of up before it kind of starts going up? No, it just needs to be turned. Just turn it? Yeah. It would be right there next to the hood. I thought he wanted it. He set it up no, further. right here. But we, we need to take it that way a little bit so we got room. To turn it. Yeah. Just like I told you when you took it. Yep. Yeah. What's that? Get 
Oh my god. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. Let that oil drain back down. That was so close. So close, eight feet. I think I lost some hydraulic oil, that's the only thing I see. I don't know if the sucker's gonna start. Is that close to where you want it? You want it angled more or like all the way up by that bush. I can't I can't drag it any further. It's I just started spinning. Even with the wheels on the back of it? Yep. I knew it was wet. I mean I well, I really need it up there because I can't have it underneath that tree. That tree's gonna come down and come down right on top of it. Well I can't get it up there today, there's no way. She was out here and told me all I had to do was move this end over further, and that's what I was doing, but I didn't know if it was over further far enough. Uh, I really wanted to back up there out of the way of that tree. Um, the last guy brought that in there, he had the wheels on it, and he brought it straight up off the road, up through all this and everything else, and nothing but that thing right there over there. Yeah, I mean, it was probably drier. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it had to have been, because it's the ground is so wet. That's why I was wondering if it's going to work out today. I had the wheels underneath it, but I took them out to get the back end over further. Are you? I don't know if you came and got it or not, but they never should have. We didn't even get a letter until a week afterwards. You guys came and took it. She had made a payment arrangement with the company to pay it that Friday. They came before that payment arrangement was even announced. So I mean, yeah, I don't. Never been moved in the first place. I don't have. I mean, I really, yeah, it's gonna have to be frozen or dry. I mean, the ground conditions right now are just not, not good. I just need to get it up out of the way of that tree because they're coming in like two weeks to cut it down, and they they, they priced it when that shed was right there, and they were gonna charge like fifteen hundred dollars because that shed was being there. Uh, yeah. the shed was Yeah, 
another thing is when they brought it in it was empty so that was a lot lighter yeah. so if it was empty I, I would have no problem pulling it up there but I'll see I'll see if I can try a couple more things but if not we'll have to do it when it's froze or something all right, all right. I don't know it's not gonna go there's no freaking way so an update on the mule I brought it home checked everything that night and I don't know it's making some kind of knocking noise I'm not sure what it is but I'm probably just gonna have to put a new motor in it so what I ended up doing um, the next day I found a mule a used mule that was for sale and it was gonna be a lot quicker for me to get back to work um, just buying another mule and I'll probably just put a new motor in that, my old one. Swap the motor out, keep it as a backup, or sell it. Not sure yet, but yeah, that's the scoop on that. Um, I got my other mule here. It's a used one. It's about five years newer than the one I had, but. This one here is one size bigger than, than the old one. It's got a remote and all that good stuff. So, yeah, we'll see, uh, see how I like it. There's the old one. 
Yeah, I'll probably get the motor swapped out and I might actually just send this thing to the manufacturer, Cardinal, and have them go over the whole thing and get her all fixed up. It needs a lot of TLC, that's for sure. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I will uh, catch you on the next one.